Welcome back my beautiful snow petals. So for this DIY, you're just going to need a water bottle. First, I removed the sticker label off of the water bottle. And if you're left with this sort of sticky sticker residue like I am, you can remove it by using nail polish remover. So I take some nail polish remover and make sure that it has acetone in it and just wipe the entire water bottle until it's nice and clean and smooth. And using a Sharpie marker, I'm going to draw out exactly where I need to cut. I'll take an X-Acto knife and punch a hole into the top of the bottle, and then I'll use scissors to cut it out. And now you're going to need some construction paper. So the color you use is up to you. I choose pink, so I have both pink and black construction paper. If you want yours blue, then you'll need blue and black. If you want yours yellow, you'll need yellow and black. If you want it purple, use purple and black. You get the idea, but do not skip the black paper because it's important. The color black is what's going to block out the light and isolate it. So now I'm just going to cut and shape the paper so it fits the water bottle exactly. To decorate the water bottle, I'm going to use this pretty gemstone sticker and wrap it all the way around the top. I actually found this at the dollar store. And I'm also going to take these stickers, which are also from the dollar store, and put them all around the bottle. But make sure you leave some space in the front. Make sure that the stickers are not blocking the Sanrio design that we're about to do next. So did you know that you can also use nail polish remover to remove the Sharpie marker? I cleaned up the top with the nail polish remover and then I drew Hello Kitty's face on a small piece of paper. So make sure that the paper fits the size of the water bottle and isn't too big. After I drew Hello Kitty's face, I'm going to take my glue stick and glue the black and pink papers together. I just place them on top of each other and using my hand to press them together and smooth them out. And now you're going to take the little picture of Hello Kitty that you drew and you're going to place this on top. But don't glue it, just place it on top. And now taking this sharp needle, you're going to punch holes all across the Hello Kitty design. So just go along the drawing as if you're tracing it, but punch holes throughout the whole thing with your needle and make sure that the holes are piercing through both the pink and black construction paper too. Once you've punched a bunch of holes throughout the entire drawing, just lift the paper up and you should see an imprint of the holes onto the pink paper. Make sure that they're pierced all the way around and they're on the black side as well. Then you can just roll the paper up in a way where the black is facing the inside and the pink is on the out. And I'm going to take some of these LED lights and these are also from the dollar store from the Christmas section and I'm just going to take some batteries and plug them in to light them up. So with the lights, you're just going to place them on the inside of the water bottle. So here are the other designs too. I made a butterfly and I also made more Sanrio characters.
So if you follow me on TikTok, you've already seen this DIY, but we're going to make a DIY door light. So basically just take some more pink construction paper. I'm using a stencil to draw out a heart and I use a stencil to make sure that each heart comes out the exact same size and shape. And once you have your drawing, you're just going to cut it out with scissors. You will need about 14 of these hearts in all. So just take your one heart and duplicate it into 14. You also need one very large heart for the centerpiece of the door. And for that, I will use this cardboard box. And first, we're just going to open this up to lay it flat. And now just cut one of the flat surfaces of the box for us to use as the giant heart. So take some pink construction paper and once again, glue it down to the cardboard. And if you don't have this construction paper, you can also just use pink paint and paint the entire box. With the pink paper on, I'm just going to draw a heart on the box first of all. And now, just cut the heart out. When you have your heart, I will once again add glue stick to it. And I'm only going to do one half at a time to prevent the glue from drying too fast. So I just smear a lot of glue onto one side and then it's time to sprinkle on some white fairy dust. Of course, you can use whatever color that you choose. So taking some white paper, I am going to draw Hello Kitty's face on and it did take a couple tries to get this as accurate as possible. If you do not want to draw or you feel like you won't be good enough at the drawing, you can always just go online and print out a picture of Hello Kitty's face. So now I just cut it out, but I decided to leave some room around the edges and just take some regular markers and color it in. I use a Sharpie marker and trace around the whole outline to make it pop out even more. I use yellow marker for the nose and a red color pencil for the cheeks. And now I'm going to use my letter stickers to spell out the word I want. But to make sure that all the letters are lined up evenly, I'm going to use my pencil and dot in place where I want each letter to be. And I start from the center and work my way outwards just to make sure that all of them are perfectly even. And taking some of these heart gemstone stickers, I place them on the outside. And after all of that is done, then you can finally glue the Hello Kitty down to the heart. So because this door will be the entrance to my room, I decided to put the word welcome with the stickers. And back to the small hearts, you're just going to take some double-sided tape and tape the back of each one. For the front, I'm going to take some glue and put a small little white ribbon on the front of each side. So now I'm going to use another one of the Christmas string lights and I just take it out of the box and unwrap it first of all and plug in the batteries. So using some clear duct tape, you're going to trace the hearts all around the back of the heart and attach them in place using the clear tape. Make sure that the light part is poking over the edge so you can see it when you flip it back around. And now I'm going to hot glue the battery pack to the back of the light and I add a little bit more hot glue on top.
from the dollar store i also found some of these curvy wall borders in a pretty pink shade and also this really cute flower scrunchie so taking my glue stick i'm just going to add some glue around the edges of the door to place all of the wall borders on i also decided to add a giant white and pink bow at the very top of the door so this is what it looks like in the dark and this is what it looks like in the light with all of the decorations added on. Now you have a DIY door light that shines in the night and looks really cute in the daytime too. Thank you all so much for watching and I really hope these two light ideas inspired you to find cute ways to light up your room. And thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video.